Hey, this is Ed McCarthy, CEO of Echelon Performance. Welcome back to Sidebar Coaching. I'm really thrilled today to have two uh, incredibly fun, intelligent, hardworking people with me, Carrie Green and Allison Reed from Exemplar Leadership. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Ed. All right. Good to be here. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to steal your story. I don't want to talk over you. So uh, just introduce yourselves quickly. Carrie, why don't you go first? Well, I'm Carrie Green. I'm vice president of Exemplar Leadership, a boutique leadership development firm. And uh, we're a large organization of two. Neither one of us wanted to be a president. So I'm vice president. And my business partner, who is also my best friend, is vice president also. Um, I've been working at Exemplar for 13 years and I'm pretty passionate about developing leaders within organizations. Excellent. Allison. Yes. As, as Carrie mentioned, I'm vice president of I'm vice president of the East Coast. I live in Yardley, Pennsylvania. And Carrie and I met at our first job and we both are very passionate about leadership development and love what we do. Yeah. You you both are incredibly passionate. It seems like about everything that you do. So I have so many questions because it's it's very rare. So you said you've been working there for 13 years. You're working with your best friend. And I think there are two, the two of the hardest people to work with would be either your spouse or your <laughs> You don't hear that working well too often. So I think that you have a really neat bond. You have a great relationship. How did you meet? Well, that's an actually interesting story. We met at our first job, 22 years old, uh, so a long time ago. I won't, I won't take, date us. Um, and what's really funny is it was my first day, and a guy who was working there came up to me and introduced himself, had a conversation with me, and he said, you're going to be best friends with Allison. And Allison had actually done an internship. She was at Penn State, but she had done an internship at this company, ADP. And... Um, I was like, who's Allison? He was like, just wait, you guys are going to be best friends. And I met Allison and I don't know if he just planted that seed subconsciously in my head, but I know that, you know, uh, 30 years later, I am a better person because of it. <laughs> she, I always say Allison's my ticket into heaven. She has a, a heart of gold and I'm, I'm super blessed to have her not just as my best friend, but also as my business partner, because she adds so much value there. Um, and, and it's interesting because both of us have always said, like we knew we've always been able to finish each other's sentences, but I don't think either one of us realized um, the other person's talent and how much we, um, we work well off one another. Ali, do you want to talk a little bit about? <laughs> yes, sure. So as Carrie said, we've worked for two organizations together prior to Exemplars, but we worked alongside each other more as colleagues. And we both were had our success, but you know, you never know. And like you mentioned, Ed, there is a challenge, right? Like our, we always said that our friendship would come first. So we we said, I could see we both work really hard. We're passionate about leadership development. Let's give this a try. And we realized that our skill sets really complement each other. So Carrie has sales, marketing, and management background. I have sales, training, and management. And Carrie's a very creative person, a big picture thinker. I'm, I'm more detail-oriented. So we really complement each other well. And we were so excited that we get to work with each other because, you know, we enjoy each other's company. We love working with clients together. We both love, I guess, analyzing companies' needs. And we ask, like, deep dive questions. And it just works really well. And, and our friendship is stronger than ever. And, and we loved, once Zoom came about, we're like, oh, now we can see each other because we're on different coasts. So it's it really ha has been wonderful, and we feel very blessed and you know grateful that we have this opportunity to work together. I think it's the it's other piece of it is that sorry Ed, um, I think the other piece of it is that there's such a huge level of trust 
between us, trust that, you know, the other person is, is going to deliver trust that, you know, we, we are, we're both very uh, big on integrity and doing the right thing. And so, you know, from that standpoint, there isn't that uh, strain of wondering, there, you know, whether or not the other person is going to show up in the same way as you and with the same commitment and the same values and the same integrity. It's an incredible dynamic. I mean, the first time that Claire and I <clears throat> got to, to meet you both on Zoom, we're like, wow, you, you just have a chemistry that when you work with a small agency, it's usually the, the single shingle, right? It's it's Ned <laughs> or somebody Inc. And you don't have, it must be, it is a blessing that you're both so passionate about similar things, but you, as you know, Allison said, the friendship comes first. It's It's amazing. I know you both you both work with ADP, you just said that. And I know you both have been in life sciences for quite some time. You worked at GSK at the same time. What was it that you happened that said, you know, we really should just work, have our own thing together? When did you come to that decision and how? Well, we didn't actually come to it at the same exact time. So okay. our paths were a little bit different. And I won't speak, I'll let Allison speak to her path, but I'll, I'll tell you what happened with me since, since I... Um, I went to Exemplar first. I, I fell into leadership development uh, kind of prior or this this particular organization before Allison. Um, I was working at, at GSK and I was I was having a phenomenal role thanks to having an incredible sales team, incredible support there. I was put into a leadership development program. And at that time, I worked with an executive coach who was from outside the organization. And the executive coach asked me the question, what would you do if you weren't afraid? And it was, we were having lunch in this cafe. It was the first time meeting him. And I hated the question. And I think the big reason I hated the question was because I knew that if I really answered that question, honestly, I would have, I'd be leaving my comfort zone. I'd be leaving a company where I had great success I was working with great people, and but I knew that it wasn't necessarily serving my life. I was a mom of three kids. I wanted more autonomy. I wanted to focus on what I was super passionate about, which was the leadership development space. So uh, at the time, uh, a business colleague of mine had left to start a leadership development company, Exemplar, and then... I was recruited to that and started there 13 years ago. And then he subsequently left. And then, you know, Allison and I took it over and I'll, I'll hand it over to Allie to kind of talk <laughs> about how she ended up at Exemplar. But that, that, that was my path. So I was a manager at GSK as well. And um, when I had my first child, I decided to take some time off. And they were doing, I, ha, I actually I had been a manager and then I was a part-time oncology sales rep and they kind of did away with my position. So I kind of had a choice. And at the time my son was getting sick a lot in daycare. So I, I said, I'll take some time off. And so, and then I ended up having three kids years later. And I, but throughout that time, I realized like what I was most passionate about was when I was a trainer at GlaxoSmithKline. Like I realized that's what I really enjoyed. And one of my old counterparts at GSK started a company. So I worked for her initially when I had my third child and did leadership development. And I loved it. Uh, it, it that job was more facilitation versus actually curriculum design. And then um, the, the owner of Exemplar had this big project in Tampa, Florida, and asked if I would help him out and Carrie did it as well. And we, we really enjoyed it. He thought we did a great job. He decided to go back into the corporate world and work for an organization and asked if we would run the company. And we both talked it over and thought it was a great opportunity. And, and, and that's where we got brought us where we are today. I mean, we, we feel like we've, you know, we redid, we revamped our website. Like we've done a lot of different things to really make it more our own. And I think just, you know, working together on everything. So even though 
I run the East Coast and Carrie runs the West. We collaborate on everything together. And that's what we love most. That's really cool. Yeah, there's so much, there's so many things that we've talked about in the five minutes that I would love to dig deeper into. And, and we will. <clears throat> uh, I, I think of you as like the Lennon and McCartney of leadership development. <laughs> <laughs> relationship. So I'm going to put it to the test. Are you guys up for a little bit of a quick quiz before oh, we move into the next segment? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, oh, I'm going to have to go back a little bit here. So, here. <laughs> Harry Met Alley. It's a little bit of a fun world. <laughs> this is my favorite movie, by the way. I too. If anyone asks me yep. when Harry yep. Met Sally is my favorite movie. See, and that That's... is a question I would know the answer to. So let's start yeah. there. What's yeah. Alley's favorite right. movie? <laughs> I'm not going to start there. Four questions. Uh, it's a bit of a lightning round. So, um, okay. number one, would your business partner prefer a quiet night on the couch or a night out? dancing and having a big night on the town. Carrie, what would Allie prefer? Quiet night on the couch. Yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> Allie, what would Carrie prefer? Absolutely quiet night on the couch. <laughs> I think I'm more obvious for quiet night. Yes, exactly. <laughs> all right. So you're all lined on that. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, what is, Car I'll start with Allie. Allie, what is Carrie's favorite restaurant or favorite meal? Okay, so I don't know her favorite restaurant, but I know one of her favorite meals is butternut squash soup that her husband makes. <laughs> <up. laughs> oh my god! Yes, True. that is definitely. If Jeremy, if it's Jeremy's or my mother-in-law's homemade butternut squash soup, a hundred percent. Very, <laughs> very specific there. Awesome. I, I right. don't know. I'm gonna Gary? have to. I'm gonna to have to say with Allison, is it Italian? Like uh, something Parmesan? <laughs> I do love eggplant. That's I what I was gonna say. Eggplant Parmesan. I was gonna say eggplant Parmesan was Allison's favorite, but I don't know. I I, I don't feel like she's as specific yeah. as mine. I do love lobster. I would say like on special occasions. Don't have it that often, but yeah. But I, I wrote these questions. Good. I wrote these questions with Claire in mind, so at some point I'm going to be asking Claire if she. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, you know each other. We'll have to test you on that. All right, Carrie. Who is your business? Who is Allie's celebrity crush? Oh my gosh! I this I do not know. I, I mean, I think her her big crush is her husband Jason. But oh, I uh, <laughs> honestly, I, I mean, neither one of us are. We've ne both never been jewelers over celebrities the way some people are. But I don't know. I, I, Ryan Reynolds, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I do, I do love him. I would say, and we've never talked about this, but probably when I was young, it was Rob Lowe. Oh yeah, oh. well that actually, I, that I would know. Yeah, I, I think I, I did yeah. know, but I was trying to think more recently. Yeah, yeah like, I don't, I don't know. I, I do oh. like Ryan Reynolds. I love, I love him. So good, right. good guess. <laughs> Uh, that's tough. She really is not wowed by celebrities. Like even when she's been in LA and she's seen people, but she does like foreign. She does like foreign people since her husband's from New Zealand. Uh, oh, gosh. And I'm going blank on who I'm thinking of. Um, I'd say for anybody with an accent. I think yeah, anybody with an accent. I, but I'm thinking of, <laughs> I, that, I, I can't even think of this to nail that. And, yeah. and sometimes Jeremy, but not all the time. <laughs> my, right. my, husband. Yes. my husband sometimes my <laughs> yes. <laughs> A mysterious <laughs> horror of an accent. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what is her, okay, Ali, what is Carrie's hidden talent oh. or super? So this, I just think is amazing what Carrie can do. She can take notes, like literally, like when we do research <laughs> interviews, she can capture every word that someone's saying, like she, like a court reporter. And I, that's, I that's her hidden talent. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Well, you know why that's my hidden talent, right? Because when I, when I was at Rutgers and I didn't have a computer and I was an English and journalism double major, I had to use the computers in the computer lab and I had to learn to type as fast as possible because you know, you would sign up for these computers. It's 45 minutes, one hour, two hours. And I had to type as fast as or, or four to five hour computers. And, you know, I, I'd want to 
get in the, the less time would turn over faster. So I'd be like, okay, I'll just jump on this and it's a 10 page paper, but maybe I can crank it out. So yes, that is that I that's a good one, Allie. That actually is probably my superhero. Yeah. Is not. I think Allison's is to she can melt the coldest person's heart. And I oh. I love witnessing it. I'm gonna tell you, I've been on Zoom where people are really like very um you know, distant, cold people, and she has them smiling and laughing by the end of the call. She That's can, awesome. she is like the sun. She yeah. comes out and is, she's like sunshine. Thank you. That's, <laughs> That's a fantastic description. <laughs> of that is spot on. <laughs> All right. Thanks for, thanks for being good sports. Uh, again, Carrie Green, Allison Reed, uh, Vice President East and Vice President West of Exemplar Leadership. And really excited to have you in the Echelon family, our new associates, um, helping us offer more to clients and, and vice versa. So it's a really exciting time. It's really good to get to know you. Do you have some more time and we can bring Claire into the conversation and talk a little bit more? That sure. would be great. Yeah, we love, yeah, we love Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a break and uh, come back with Claire. Excellent.